All right guys, welcome to A. Williams Productions. And today we'll be going over a quick tutorial talking about Vertex Maps. Um, I saw this great tutorial on uh, Acidium. They have a lot of different tutorials where they have sneak peeks, uh, they have process reels and different things like that. But most of them, as you can see, are very, very short. And they also incorporate multiple projects normally where it just shows you what the feature can do. So one of the features that I saw that I would like to show you guys today that I can see being very, very, very powerful and it's very, very easy to implement is what we're going to show today. And this is what they had. How to make a vertex map, but make the vertex map, make your emitter uh, based on the speed of the vertex map. So as you can see around his hands, because that is the fastest part, I've essentially crushed uh, the selection so that the map only hits from his hands. So as you can see, a uh, really easy tutorial, really quick tutorial, so we're just gonna jump in. So for you guys, um, I have a 3D character that I used from Mixamo, right? So we're gonna go to Mixamo, sign in if you have an account. If not, just sign up for free. All right. So I was looking at Aria character. So you can choose whatever character you want, but I'm just gonna choose the bot and I'm gonna click off for his animation. Say I like this one, right? This is the one I think I used, even though this one is a good one too. So download. You have characters from Dash 3D. You can upload them as well, right here. Apply the animation, just in my opinion, upload them in the T pose. So now we got that file downloaded, right, guys? I'm gonna jump into Cinema 4D. And just to show you what I did, I'm actually gonna change my workspaces to, to my Arnold space. And then I'm going to go to where my objects panel is, file, merge, golf drive, boom, all right. Do you want to reassign? No. Select all of them. Option G, put golf. Here, I'll just zero out everything just to make sure your character is where you want them to be. Boom. So we got that. You look, the action is 176 frames, so let's just extend it so the action can play out fully. All right, boom, 176 frames, looks great. Let's just make it 200. Now let's bring us to X, bring in an X particle system. Boom. Leave it there. Emitter, object, oh, excuse me. XP emitter, object. Copy that. Boom. Drag your character into here, into object. Now just press play. Nothing happens. All right. Excuse me, delete this. Sorry. We don't want the character, we want the surface. You can also add the joints, but we really want the surface. So, XP system. Now I'm drag it to the surface. Excuse me, now you play. Now as you see, it comes out. But it's everywhere, and it's very chaotic, and it's a lot. So we want this to be more restricted, smaller, and based on its speed. 
So how can we best achieve it? All right, so we wanna use a vertex map, of course. So utilities, XP, vertex map. Everybody should use this, this is very powerful. So we're not gonna just drag in our whole golf because the uh, character, because this is a, he's essentially rigged. So we're gonna drag in the surface first. You can add the joints, but I really specifically want his the surface to be populated. All right. Now, when we double click on the surface on the vertex map, you can see the action. So the vertex map has been created. Boom, looks great. So now we're gonna go back to XP vertex map. We see polygons, but we're gonna add speed. Uncheck polygons. So we based it on the speed. Our new vertex map is right here. So we're gonna go right here. Blend. I'll leave it normal right now. This is the important min speed, max speed. So now you can see that he's going in certain areas where there's a lot of motion. So right here around the arms and stuff. So to specify just his arms, his arms are moving the fastest. So we're gonna crush it based on that speed, if that makes sense. So just play around with it. And as you can see, I'm starting to get really close, I'm crushing it around his hand. So we're gonna do a little more. Now we have the crushed. We're gonna go back to our emitter. We're gonna go selection and drag in that Tag, rewind, Pew. more control, right? Now, almost done. Looks great. So, I'm gonna add two modifiers. The very first one, the drag modifier. Density, you can play with these. I'll just set mine to Mercury. Uh, drag. We're gonna put human, because it is a human, human upright. And then, we should be good, let's see. All right, super cool. And I have one more on here, let me do my head. Scale. So we're gonna have particle radius. I want to change based on speed. Can clamp with range. We'll just play with it. Whew. Super cool. So now you have particles based on the speed of that vertex map, which is, which is super cool. So I'm using Arnold. So just to give you guys more of an example, I'll go ahead and show you kind of what a render looks look like really quickly. So. Okay, let me create a couple of surfaces. So I've brought in a standard surface. I'm bringing in a shadow mat, and I'm bringing in a flat color. And I want to show you quickly how I build my scenes. So, if you wondered originally why I created uh, these two colors. Well, all I did was click on, because these two colors are based on like Cinema 4D's render. So I hit Option W and then C, you can see it says, convert selected materials to arm materials. So I essentially just made them arm materials. Because right here, they look kind of funky. So when I put the arm materials on, one, I can adjust them, but you can see it turn right. So these are now arm materials. So, you know, I can do stupid stuff, just metal, excuse me. Come down here, let go around. Put the colors. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, 
or we can even do it based on weight. Let it upload. There goes the new color. For this one, I'm just because it's the joints, I'm just gonna make it metal. Boom. Alright, so we got that. Our guy set up. Create a floor. So the as you can see the golfer is below the floor. So with me, I have a plugin, drop the floor. So click on your golf character. You can just honestly move them above, but I'm trying to do drop the floor. There you go. And then uh, I actually have my sky created. Turn the camera off so it's not visible in the viewfinder. Let's just use a physical sky. You know, go back to sky. Texture, HDR. I want to just find a quick HDR. set up the whole thing pretty much good now background at flat on it and this is what you see right but I'm gonna also show you how to make a seamless white floor so or a seamless background so I'm just gonna change the color say I choose something like a dark blue mix of purple something like that my shadow map, add that onto the floor. So it's seamless right now. I'm gonna do add a indirect diffuse and indirect specular. Increase it so that it has a reflection of my character. Boom, almost there. So what do we, what do we have left? Well, pretty much all you wanna do is texturize the emitter. So right click C, uh, C for D to A. And we're gonna one. So let me just fix my emitter. My rate go to 100. And radius, and go 1.5. Speed 200. So this right here you can just play with, but you can kind of see how powerful this is. And as you can see, you can start to see the emitter. <laughs> All right guys, as you can see, I am, this is the original version that I created. As you can see, I have a VBD mesher in it. I have my vertex map. I have the same scene we just set up. I also have it cached and I have it texturized. So to show you how far you just keep playing, how far you can keep going with it. Uh, one thing for your vertex space right here, ensure that it's on world if there's motion. So we'll play. All right, so this is the original I created. And you can see what we originally did, how it begins to look. So I have a texture around it, different things. So it looks really cool. It's very different. Uh, yeah, so I'll pretty much wrap here, guys. Uh, this is pretty much it. This is how you can use Vertex Maps to you. Well, this is how you use the speed of a animation or character to create a Vertex Map. Very, very powerful. Uh, I'll add the video of Insidium that I watched. 
the game is only 30 seconds. Uh, it's not the full breakdown. So, but definitely watch it, check it out. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Uh, follow me at awilliamsproductions.com. And also uh, follow my website at awilliamsproductions.com. Oh, excuse me, follow my social media at awilliamsproductions.com. <laughs> and yeah, just check back in. I'll see you guys later. Peace.